Today we're going to transfer this swarm that I caught a couple of weeks ago into a full size hive and do a full disease inspection on it. Hello, I'm Griffiths. Welcome to Gwynny Griffith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now today I'm on my isolation apiary from the back of some buildings here and this is where I take all my swarms and this swarm has been here now for a couple of weeks I want to take it out, put it in a full size hive and inspect it for disease now the first thing, if you notice what I'm wearing I'm wearing half a suit, not wearing my usual vented suit and that's a simple reason if this hive is diseased then I've got to wash all the clothes etc this being a half suit there's a lot less work involved in washing that and this is just a bit of a work in a swarm collecting jacket that I keep in the truck for those types of jobs. I don't want to contaminate my main suit or risk my main suit having disease um, on it. And I'd always recommend whenever you're catching a swarm or you move in a colony that you've never inspected before, um, it hasn't come from a breeder, it's come from um, a known a known source uh, type of thing, or the hive has been there for any period of time, no one's inspected it. Make sure you inspect those bees properly before you take it back to your apiary because you just don't know what disease there could be in you. Well, that's enough talking. Let's get into it. Now, here's a trick for you. Don't put your foundation in here yet. I'm going to take the frames out of the nuke box, transfer them over into this hive. Now this hive is fine to stay here because the bees are only moving from there. It's less than two foot. They're going to start flying through into the new hive, no problem at all. But the point I want to make is, if these frames are in here, and you bring a frame in, first one's disease free, you put it in here, the next one you come, you find disease, that frame there, even though the bees have only just literally been on there for a couple of seconds, you'll have to destroy that frame as well. So, saves risking your new foundation frames, keep them to the side, we're going to get the entire frames into the new box, inspect it all, then we're going to bring these new frames into the box. Let's see what we find. Okay then. The one problem I did have when I went to pick a swarm up, I didn't have the queen excluder insert in there. Hopefully that's not going to cause me problems today. But they might well do. Nothing on that. I'm gonna put that there. No brood there. You don't need to check really the brood frames for disease. So I want to see some calf brood and I want to see some seal brood. Bit of pollen, bit of honey. No brood yet. Alright, we're into some brood, good. So, when you're checking for disease, little trick that the bee inspectors taught me, Frank especially, is the head bee inspector in Wales. He said, buy some cocktail sticks. So when you're going through the frames, you've got your cocktail stick. So if I want to uncap, uh, say uh, there's a, um, a brood that's been capped and it's sunk down, which could be AFB, you want to inspect a little bit more, take a cocktail stick, and you can go in there much more easy than using your hive tools. So next time you're in a home bargains or food type shop, get yourself a little cocktail stick for disease inspections. Now, Looking for the queen to begin with. Looking good so far. Just gonna make sure the queen isn't on you. Then I'm gonna shake the bees off to make sure that I can see all the frame. So I'm checking all these capped cells to see if anything's sunk down. 
nothing uh, sunk down which is looking good and then I've got plenty of eggs the whole frame is eggs Queen's just laid this frame up today and there's plenty of healthy brood in the middle no EFB because what we're looking for is European fowl brood and American fowl brood and this does take some time because you have to check absolutely every single cell where there is brood and it's looking okay looking pretty good there on that trim same on this frame though this is a darker brood these bees have been on this frame much uh, they probably started on this frame compared to the other one. They draw, they drew that other frame out. Again, looking for the queen. This is the first time I've inspected these bees since I picked them up. No queen. Shake them off in the box. And that's the best way to shake them off into the box like that. And they go straight down the bottom. Now I'm checking all these frames again. Now, just to show you how good this cocktail stick works, if you suspect something that's a little bit sunken, that's all you do, you just take it, peel off the edge, and I'm not even damaging the larvae underneath. That's healthy, the bees can seal that back up, no problem. Cocktail stick works really well. And with the European power brood, what I'm looking for is when the open larvae, so the American, let me explain this a bit better, American fowl brood affects the brood once it's sealed, where European fowl brood affects the brood before it's sealed. So American fowl brood is probably the easiest I say to find. You've got the, the once the, the, the larva starts to rot underneath the cells, it goes ropey, quite smells quite bad. You can do the ropey test with a cocktail stick with a match stick. And with EFB, you've actually got to look at the open cell brood when they're in the C shape. There should be a fat grub with plenty of lines going down the abdominal. If they look a little bit melted, losing colour, then I would suspect, or oh, you're in the regions of, you might have European fowl brood. Now, the two of them is a notifiable disease. So if you do see disease, make sure you tell the inspector, even if you don't know 100%, double check with them just to be safe. Because you don't have to be a bad beekeeper to get disease. The bees can pick it up themselves off the neighboring beekeeper, bee farmer, etc. Unfortunately, it just does happen. It doesn't just affect bad beekeepers, it affects good beekeepers as well. The only difference is the good beekeepers, they keep an eye out for it, the bad ones, they don't. And it's much, much better to find disease early on rather than late. Yeah, very happy with that. No disease on the frames at all. Didn't see the queen, so I guarantee you She's down in this cavity, which I absolutely hate when you haven't got a queen of snooter in there. So that's all I'm going to do now. I'm getting stung here in the leg. And I'm going to shape these bees into this box. wax from in there, make sure there's no brood in there, I can't see any brood in there which is good, alright, all the bees are in here now, safe for me to put these frames in, so I can close up this hive, notice how the bees are trying to go back into that hive instead of this hive, flying bees coming back now, they think that is still their hive, but it's not. And um, one frame shot, I'll grab that later. I just want to close this up for the bees to settle down.
and this hive needs some feed. I can see that straight away today. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to take my hive tool and I'm going to cut this out to see if there's any brood, some honey there. No brood at all, so that's a good sign. They haven't laid up this wild comb they built in here. I've done this inspection just soon enough. Take a few more out to inspect. Yeah, they haven't laid up in there at all. Chances is the queen wasn't in there. She was either at the bottom of the box or I missed her on the frame. Now, take this box way out the way. Well, that's it. The bees have moved from this location to that location. And all these bees have found their way with the bees inside the brood. They're sticking their abdominals out and they're spraying the pheromones. And these bees coming back are going straight into that hive. Now, always check your swarms for disease and ideally, Leave them roughly three to four weeks. Don't let the nuke get too big. And you've only got a couple of frames to inspect if that's the case. Or we there, I think three frames of brood there we inspected. And it doesn't take that long. Now, just a note, just this week as it happens, the bee unit have released some fantastic videos on their channel on YouTube. Talking about foul brood, how to find it, etc. That's a great, great watch. Highly recommend you watch that video. Because even though you're a small bee keeper or a big bee farmer, I highly recommend you know when what European fowl brood looks like and American AFB fowl brood looks like. Those are the two big ones. They're the only two that's going to cause you any kind of major problem, really. Um, the kind of problems that you've got to kill your bees for anyway. And uh, you know, we've got some new viruses coming up now that might, might cause some problems in the future, but that's nowhere near as bad as what foul brood is so that's it hopefully you enjoyed watching this video i'm going to grab a feeder now i'm going to give this nuke some feed because they didn't have that much stores on them the honey flow starting to come but ideally i'd want them to draw all these frames that i've just put in out as well take the feed off queen is looted on and hopefully these will get a super full by the end of the year i don't know they're not that big of a swarm but time will tell well, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to put a new video every week. Thanks for watching.